The price of each DVD in a sale bin is $7. So in Part A, we're going to complete the table below to find an expression that describes the total cost in dollars of D DVDs purchased. Show the arithmetic to help you see a pattern. And then once we've done that, in Part B, we're going to evaluate the expression that we found in Part A for D equals 8, and we're going to say, what does your result mean in this situation? So let's take a look and think about the scenario here. So we've got um, a sale bin of DVDs. You may have seen that when you're at the store. And this is saying that each DVD in the bin is going to cost $7. And so let's say that we're going to purchase one DVD. Well, in your brain you say, well, of course, I would pay $7 because I just bought, bought one, right? So the total cost in dollars would be $7. But here we want to be thinking about this part here, show the arithmetic to help you see a pattern. So you want to say, well, what did I do with this problem? Well, in some ways, I really didn't do a whole lot. I just took what does a DVD cost, and I only bought one of them. The fact that we only bought one, notice what we were doing is we took the number of DVDs and we multiplied it by the cost. That's going to become more obvious when we get down, what if we buy two DVDs? And you can probably just say, well, if they're $7 each, I'd end up paying $14, right? No big deal. But now let's think about where does that 14 come from? Well, I bought two DVDs and each DVD costs $7. So 2 times 7 is 14. Now you could also say, well, I just added $7 more, but let's see what happens here when we go and look at four DVDs. So if I'm going to buy four DVDs, each one costs $7, well, let's think what we need to do here. If I t get four DVDs and they each cost $7, well, then I'm going to have to pay $28. And what if I buy seven DVDs? Well, the same kind of thing is going to go on. I've got seven DVDs. Each one costs $7. So now I'm up to a total of $49. Now we're going to generalize. Instead of just talking about all the different possibilities of how many DVDs that I might buy, we're going to generalize this and say, I'm just going to purchase some variable number of DVDs. I'm not sure exactly how many, but I want like a little formula for myself. Notice up here the lowercase d stands for the number of DVDs purchased. So we're going to look at the pattern here. In each one of these multiplication problems we took the number of DVDs that I purchased. Okay, each one of these numbers that I'm circling stands for the number of DVDs, right? Each of those come from the first column and it multiplies by 7. So when I'm saying I'm purchasing D DVDs. It's going to be exactly the same pattern. I'm just going to be saying I'm buying D DVDs. And so here's my expression, D times 7. And we could also write that as 7D. Each one of those would be fine. And using the multiplication dot here, not a bad idea to remind us that it's multiplying, or we can just use the juxtaposition just to say, when I put these two things right next to each other, I know it's going to be multiplying. So now let's do the second part. Evaluate the expression you found in part A for D equals 8. So here, D equals 8. So let's take our expression. Our expression was 7D. And I'm going to go ahead and use this form of the expression, because usually if we have both a variable and a constant that are being multiplied together, we like to show the constant first. We'll see that over and over again through this class. So 7d, we're saying that d equals 8. So 7, and then instead of the d, we're going to slip the d out. Okay, We're going to put it in this little isolation loop. The d is going to go away, and in its place we're going to put in the 8. And now we can say, oh, 7 times 8, well that equals 56. And be sure to answer the last part of the question. What does your result mean? Well, let's think about this. What does our result mean? Remember, D was the number of DVDs. So what this means is, if I purchase eight DVDs, the total cost will be $56. Okay? So we're bringing in all the information that they gave us to answer the question clearly. So here would be our final answer.